Hello again, I am Blunty, and this is the Olympus 25mm f1.8 lens, and if I'm honest with you, which I always am, I should have had this review up a while back, but sometimes I'm a dumbass and I let reviews of awesome things slip through the cracks. Forgive me. So yeah, this lens is utterly awesome. The focal length of 25mm on a Micro Four Thirds system camera with its 2 times sensor crop, of course, means that the field of view is equivalent to a 50mm lens in full frame terms. Which means what we're essentially dealing with here is the perfect Micro Four Thirds Nifty Fifty. The size, feel and general build of it is very familiar to anyone who has used Olympus's 45mm Prime, also a superb lens by the way. This is also the first time that Olympus has finally conceded to including a lens hood with their lenses, something fans of Ollie's lenses have been crying out for for quite some time now, so woohoo for that also. Now, it's not marked as sitting in the Pro line of Olympus's Micro Four Third lenses, which means it's not weather sealed. But the images sucked in through this glass leave me in no doubt that it's certainly up to the task of satisfying both pros and amateurs alike in all other respects. Now, Nifty 50s, or Fast 50s as they're sometimes called, are considered by most, if not all, photographers with half a clue to be essential bits of kit. The field of view lends itself very nicely to a huge variety of photographic tasks, and the aesthetic delivered as far as perspective and depth compression go leave you with a very natural feeling image. Nifty 50s are loved for very good reasons. And of course, that fast f1.8 aperture lends itself really very nicely to low light and indoor shooting. Specific to this lens, though, you'll find yourself with tack-sharp images throughout the frame, even wide open and in the corners. It's unbelievably well-behaved. I took this thing street shooting, landscape shooting, portrait, low light, bright sun, food and product photography, even event photography. There was simply nothing I could do with this lens that even came close to challenging it. Hyperbole and personal excitement aside, this really is a stunningly good lens, easily the equal to the very highly regarded 45mm and approaching the magnificent 12mm primes from Olympus that sit on either side of it in the product lineup. The bokeh is liquid and smooth, and the lens has that wonderfully Olympus typical treatment of tone and colour and contrast. I love the quote unquote Olympus look, it's just wonderful. Focus is finger snap quick, manual focus is smooth and predictable, and it'll even behave itself quite nicely should you want to shoot continual autofocus in video mode for some reason. At no time did I ever have problems with any flavour of aberration, no fringing, ghosting, and thanks to the clever coatings and inclusion of the lens hood, even flare was never an issue, just not once. The only thing that this lens does is consistently deliver clean, crispy images onto your camera sensor. The only time I ever got a crappy image from it was due to user error, really. I stuffed up. <laughs> the lens itself simply never let me down. Hell, even the weight is spot on, feeling perfectly well balanced on the EM10 I was shooting it on. There are a few other options out there in this range of lens. The most popular for a few years now has been Panasonic's wonderful 20mm f1.8, a lens I own, in fact. And I'm here to tell you, Olympus's 25mm is sharper, it's cleaner, it is much faster focusing, like seriously faster. It has a smoother manual focus shift, it's also significantly quieter, making it much more ideal for video work. There's also the Leica branded 25mm lens for Micro Four Thirds cameras. Very, very nice lens in its own rights, but for my money, I'd still go the Olympus over that too, because the Olympus is about $200 cheaper, and though I've not had the chance to shoot them head to head, I have shot with both separately, and I am calling Ollie the winner in that race, simply because it is much better value. Now, this is one of those products where I really struggle to find anything to complain about. I kind of hate it when I have to gush on about how freaking epic a thing is in a review. <laughs> but seriously, there's just nothing I don't love about shooting with this lens. Except for the day I had to give it back to the local Aussie Olympus team. That kind of sucked. <laughs> and I suppose I may have liked the 12mm style metal body on it. Then again, that would have driven the price up. And to be fair, my similarly constructed 45mm lens has never given me any issues whatsoever, so yeah, whatever. You can even get it in black or a silver finish to suit your aesthetic tastes. So, that is Olympus's relatively new 25mm f1.8 prime lens for Micro Four Third cameras. I'm sorry, all I had to tell you was to gush on about it like a fanboy, but it's seriously that nice a lens. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.